Hello, my name is Marsha Johnson and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Together with my grandnieces and nephew, Allie, Ashley, and Ryan, we are Marsha's Crafts. Today we're going to make this very Versailles slash lily pad lake card. Um, the sentiment is be calm and leave it to God. I think we all sometimes get a little carried away with overthinking things or getting upset about things we have nothing or no control over. And I think that sentiment um, is appropriate for those times. Send it to a friend that is getting themselves themselves all frazzled over things they can't control. Sometimes it's just time to take a deep breath and say, let God have it. So anyway, that's going to be our card for today. Uh, stay tuned to the end because I'm going to show you a slightly different version of it that I'm not so sure that maybe I like better. Anyway, we'll um, come to that. To make this card, you will need the Very Versailles stamp set. We'll just be using this lovely image here. Um, and Lily Pad Lake, we'll be using the boats and the sun. And actually, um, I wanted the sentiment, which is be calm and leave it to God. And this stamp here, and for the other card, we're gonna use these two, so stay tuned. You'll also need the uh, lakeside framelits, the layering ovals framelits, and for the the first card I'm making, we'll need this little Adirondack chair. Um, the second card, we don't need that, but so you wouldn't need the seasonal layer standlets, but you do need it for the Adirondack chair. And let me pull out we'll need for that. And for ink, we have actually quite a few. We have Memento Tuxedo Black, we've got some Daffodil Delight, some Early Espresso, some Sahara Sand, and some Seaside Spray. Okay, let's bring in our pieces, things that we will stamp. Okay, first we're going to do our little background piece because it, it be, it's pretty uh, wet and requires a little bit of time to dry. Let me bring in a piece of computer paper. Okay, for this, I'm gonna use the Seaside Spray, and we're gonna use that large stamp. We're gonna ink it up and stamp, stamp, and stamp. Okay, we're finished with that stamp. Then I'm gonna take a clear block, I'm gonna put some ink on it and the seaside spray and we're going to take an aqua painter and put a little water there and we're just going to smear that water around to make it blend a bit that's all there is to that now we're going to work on our sky a little bit i did a card a little while back and shared how i made my little cloud template um, it was one of the um, sailing away cards, so you can you can find that if you would like to look at it. But I I just have a cloud template that has some some wave or curves here, and I like to use it with a sponge dauber to make clouds to make my sky interesting. Or you could just smear with a sponge, and that would that would work too. Sometimes you flip it, sometimes you just use a different part of it. It's just to get, get you some clouds in that sky. Okay, we're gonna just set that aside. That's pretty cool, you gotta admit. Anyway, we'll set that aside and let it dry. And I think that's it for our seaside spray. We'll do some more stamping now. I guess we'll do this one next. Again, we'll use our paper because we're gonna be stamping off. We're going to use that large um, image from the very Versailles. I think I'm going to be doing a lot of backgrounds with this. Take in our Sahara Sand ink and ink it up. And I'm going to just like that. Like that. And then if you have a space that's empty, just take that little leaf on the end and fill it in a bit. I think that looks very nice. We'll put that aside. Oh, actually, we'll put our ink aside. And then we're gonna bring in the early espresso and to do our sentiment. I just liked it better in early espresso than I did in black. So bring this back. 
take our sentiment, which says, what does it say? Be calm and leave it to God. There we go, ink that up really well. And then just put it down here. Let it soak for a bit. There we go. Now we'll put that aside. And that's all we need our early espresso for. So we'll put that aside too. Okay, let's bring in our other pieces and our Memento Tuxedo Black ink. We're going to stamp our little sailing ships, our sailboats. Remember when you're using Memento or any cloth pad to rub as well as pat to get a good image. Stamp that right here. We're also gonna put it on the inside of our card down in the lower right corner and our envelope in the lower left corner. There we go. That's it for our tuxedo black. And we're gonna bring in our Daffodil Delight to do our sun. This is actually the trickiest part of this card. It's so funny. Cause, well, I don't know if I can get it open. There we go. I will actually show you on the scratch paper. If you press hard, you get that. You don't want that. So let me clean that out. So give it a light touch and give it a light touch. There, that's what you want. Okay. So for our stamping, we now have a little bit of coloring to do. I'm going to take my Daffodil Delight and I'm going to outline with the dark. Well, actually first I want to do the light. I'm going to color it all in with the light. Then I want to do some dark and then blend it again, blend it again with the light. There. Then we'll take for our little boats, color in the front of this one and the back of this one with our dark daffodil. Oh, wait, I forgot my little stripes. The back of this guy and the front of this one. And then with the dark soft suede, we're just going to color in the little boat part. Then we're going to do the same thing on the envelope and the inside of the card. Oh, and um, again, on envelopes, if you're using blends, put a piece of paper inside so that the, the um, blends don't go through to the back of your envelope. Okay, and then for these two, I'm going to take a little bit of the um, Seaside Spray and just go around the boats to kind of ground them so they're not just sailing in the middle of the air. Give them a little sea to sail in. No big deal, but I think it just looks good. Okay. Now, time to assemble. Oh wait, if you're doing the um, Adirondack chair card, you'll need to cut out the chair. And of course, you're going to need to cut out your little boats wherever I put them, and, and the, and the uh, sun. So that, that, and that. And of course, as usual, I've already done that. By the way, um, also as usual, any measurements or um, materials needed will be listed below the video, and you, you can find those at your leisure. And if you would like to purchase anything, please do so or consider doing so at marshescrafts.stampinup.net. Okay, now we'll bring in all our bits. And on the, um, when you cut out the little sun, there's going to be a little bit of a white outline there. I just took my dark daffodil delight and um, went around it and got rid of that. I didn't want a little white halo around my sun. So, as usual, I'm going to put the inside in first, okay, then our seaside spray layer, then our background layer here. Put a little extra glue on this layer because, um, because of all of the water, it, it has warped a bit, so just give it a little extra. All right, this layer's going to go on with dimensionals. Okay, I think that should do it. There. And then we'll take some glue. Put our sun up here. And our adoratic chair will go here. So we'll put 
our sailboats in. And I want these to go kind of around there, maybe even a little lower. And this little one to go back here. And we would attach our Adirondack chair and we would be finished. So I'm gonna bring in the one that I've already done. That's what it would look like. And I'm gonna show you a slightly different version now. Up till here, it's all the same, but I've cut out with the um, lily pad lake. I stamped the bird and the lily pads and I've cut those out. And then I've colored those in, cut those out. So there's that, there's the lily pad. And then in the lily, the lakeside framelits, there's also this little um, plant. So I cut out a couple of those. So now we're going to decide where we exactly want those. I guess I want my bird about right there and my lily pad there and these little plants. Maybe like that. Yeah, okay. You could put a dimensional behind his little head, but I think he's gonna be fine. I don't think there's gonna be a problem. And we'll just put some glue on the bottom of this and put that lily pad right about there. I like this one too. Okay, I'm gonna put them side by side and, and see what you think. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed making these cards. If you did, perhaps you could give us a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe to our channel, share the video. And um, I guess that's about all I have to say for today. I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.